Are you heading to the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con? And are you a Voltron fan? If you answered yes to either of those questions, you're going to want to beat the crowds there at SDCC and head over to some special booths for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Voltron Hyperphase Legendary Lion assortment. It's a set of all of the lions. If we take a look at the box here, it includes 50 phrases and sound effects, which are pretty cool. They can get annoying at times, but they're awesome. The lions combine to form a 16 inch Voltron, which of course is Voltron. That's what we expect, right? And it's limited to 3000 pieces for this year's Comic-Con. So you're gonna wanna make sure and pick one up. As we take a look at the box here, the artwork's pretty good. It actually has a flip open uh, top. And if we stand it up on the back, it shows a little bit different stuff here. And it's huge. I mean, it's two feet, well, tall when it's on the side, wide when it's laying down. But as you can see, you get a picture of the lions here. We've got the 50 phrases again. And then it also shows kind of how to connect. It's a little different than some of the other Voltron toys out there. And then you've got Voltron all together. And this looks pretty cool. The Hyperphase Voltron is pretty cool. They do a pretty good job. So if we flip open the top and take a look at the box here, we see some of that same information that was from the back. And you know what the set includes, the five articulated lions, that they form Voltron, uh, that it's got the light up features, things like that. Uh, but then we can also look at each of the lions and they look pretty cool. They're actually uh, different styles and designs from lions that are done in some of the other toy sets. So that's really cool. Plus, they each have their own weapons that you can see on the side of the box there. So let's get started with the red lion. We're going to put on his magma discs here. All right, he finally got it on here. So we're gonna spin him and show you how it works. You squeeze the sides together, boom, there's a magma disc. So he actually has three discs and it, it's pretty cool. He looks cool with the top on. We're gonna spin him around so we can get a look at him from every angle. The red lion is pretty cool. He's actually one of our favorites. That weapon is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the blue lion. Now the blue lion, his special weapon with this set is the hydro cannon. So he has one big blast there, a button on top. Boom, there you go. Fire the hydro cannon. We'll spin him around, take a gander. And pretty cool he, he's hit the weapon goes in nice with his form so the yellow lion a lot of people this is their favorite especially Kent the, the boy helping me out here and his weapon doesn't really have a special name this is called missiles so kind of lame but it's huge and he's got two of them so they're pretty cool definitely one of the bigger ones I guess probably because he's the he's one of the feet one of the legs so he needs to be a little bit bigger and tougher All right, and the green lion. We'll stick on his dual lasers here, spin them around and fire them. Boom, double shot, both at the same time. So you'll see that their heads can twist, but they don't move side to side or up and down. You can open their jaws as well. And the big daddy. We'll take a look at the black lion. Now he doesn't have any special weapons, and if you open his mouth, it actually shows Voltron's face, so we're keeping it closed. But the wings look awesome. They're semi-transparent in the blue. It really looks cool. He also has the sound effects when he's the lion, as well as when he's Voltron. So we'll take a look at him put together here, and you'll see that the tails retract. He has his sword. Now, he's not very stable. You notice we kind of have him bent over a little bit. That's the only way we could get him to stand up without falling off of the table. So something to be aware of there. You got the on off switch on the back. It's really a pretty cool piece, especially if you've got some of the older, other Voltron sets like the 16 uh, the inch 84 set. 
is pretty cool. It's fun to have these together. We'll take a look at the red and green lions here. And you'll notice that the green lion, his cannon comes off and he actually has the shield that attaches to his back. All right, let's take a look at the feet and legs, the yellow and the blue. You'll see that the parts on the back, though, those larger parts, they kind of move a little bit so that the, the heads can come up and form the feet. And their back legs, I don't know, they kind of can be used to stabilize them a little bit when he's standing, but it didn't work very well for us. Maybe we just need a little more time playing around with him. Okay, and a couple things to be aware of. We wanted to show you how to transform him here, so we're going to show the green lion. So we pull off his dual lasers, we stick the shield on, and you'll see that these actually transform a little closer to how they do in the cartoon if you watch the sequence when he forms Voltron. So the legs will fold up and back and inside of those little covers for the back legs. And the front legs are a little tricky, so you've got to bend them, fold them in, and then the top actually will open and they will store right inside of there once you rotate them and push them in a little bit. It's a little tricky the first time you do it, but you'll get the hang of it. Put a shield back on. And the final part for him to become the arm is stick the tail in so the tails are actually kind of a more of a soft plastic and they go in right there okay there's the arm now each lion comes with its own pilot and speeder and they're a little bit tricky to go in there's only one way they can go in and sit in right so with the appendage lions the arms and the legs you pop open the bottom and you'll see right there there's a guide kind of marker set and you stick the ship in there and it'll click into place and then it won't move. You can actually play with him, be rough with him, and it won't move around. And, and the speeders are kind of a soft plastic as well. Now the black line's a little different. It took us a while to figure out where to put him. And it was a little tough. My little buddy couldn't get him open, so I had to use some brute force. And once you pop it open, you'll see he's kind of got an angled guide right there. And he pops in and you close it and he's set. And there you have it. Now, one thing to be aware of as well, the black lion, his legs actually have a cover that pops up and then the arms fold in or fold out, whether you're making the lion or Voltron. And so he's a little different. They will hide completely on there. And then the sword. We were excited. We thought there was two swords, but you actually put them together to form the one big sword. So Kemp was really excited. He was a little bummed when it ended up just being one sword, but it just snaps together just like that. And there you have it. There's the sword. So a few things to be aware of there. And if you like it, make sure and pick it up at San Diego Comic-Con. You can get it at several booths. Think Geek slash GameStop booth, the Toink Toys booth, Entertainment Earth, Trendsetters, and Sure Things Toys. They will all have this set to pick up. And it retails for $129.99.